Okay, this is a Savage Axis One. Got the bolt out. See the bolt? Yeah. Okay. Magazine's out. We're clean. We're empty. No bullets in there. And we are replacing the trigger with this from M Carbo because it has about a seven pound trigger pull. An Allen wrench, I believe it's this 530 seconds. Let's remove the stock. The reason we're doing this is because the shot groups are all over the board. All right, so we've got the long screw in the back, short screw in the front. Theoretically, this just comes apart, and it does. Awesome, now this goes away, like that. Now, get this spring out of here. You need to remove this um, C-clip or E-clip or whatever it's called. Probably not the right way to do this, but that's okay. Whatever you do, don't let it go flinging. Or you'll be hunting for C-clips, not deer. See, the other thing the M Carbo kit comes with is shims that go inside here to try and reduce some of that wiggle. I don't know if that's going to be necessary or not, but. You can take another Allen wrench and push this pin out. Carbo kit. This comes with two different spring rates, a three and a half and a two and a half. Um, I believe their website states that the two and a half is only drop tested to nine nine inches, so it's not recommended for hunting use. So we're not going to use it. Because this is a hunting rifle. So there's the three in the three and a half. There's the lube and the spring. And I need to find some Loctite still, but this little allen head screw here goes inside like this and this is a spring travel stopper I'm sorry a trigger travel stopper that way when this goes here the spring goes here then you can't over travel your um, trigger This gets a little bit of thread locker. Went to Ace Hardware. Put some of that on there. Oop, that's a lot. I'm just gonna use this to clean it off. And M Carbo says that this should go flush. So just like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. So I was going to point out the difference between these two springs. 
This one's extremely stiff, not so stiff. I mean, that's a huge difference in that. So, that's awesome. We're excited to shoot it with the better spring rate. We had shovel, trouble making groups um, with the heavier spring rate. And so hoping this solves that issue. All right, next what we're gonna do is, um, some people are saying that they do, some people say that they don't need the, the shims in the um, trigger. They do have some movement, so we're gonna try them. See it comes with this grease. You just get it on there like that. And that grease will kind of help things stick together as well, so that's good. Got blue on my fingers now. So you just kind of put it on there and rub it around. And this. right in here. What you can do is take a small Allen wrench like this. Maybe. Just like that. To help line that stuff up. And actually, this here goes in first. Whoops! Little pocket that it goes into right there. It's like that. Uh, I'll put this in. Use a small Allen head to help line the shims up. Whoops! Where'd that spring go? Right there. A little bit more grease on this one here, see if it'll stick better. Right, three and a half pound spring. Take two. <laughs> So that's in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pin that goes in and it's all weird because it's not lined up properly. So we'll take the pin that goes in there and we're gonna follow that Allen head screw or Allen head wrench. Yep, that's the goal anyhow. Oops, get that out of the way. There it goes. Now we're gonna take the C-clip. You'll notice it's on the other side now, but um, based on the other videos that I watched, it doesn't matter direction that pin goes. I'm going to slip and cut my finger, okay? Make for a good video. Rats. Works just fine. Okay. So that's how that goes. 
we should be able to reinsert. The bolt, cycle the action, and pull it. For reference sake, this is what we did last time to verify the trigger pull. And I didn't get it on video, but it was almost seven pounds. So Jay's here. Tell me what it peaks out to. Nope, just watch it. Is it right side up? Is it upside down? It's upside down. Oops. Let's retry that, please. <laughs> Take two. Okay, let me zero that. All right, so you tell me what the peak pull is. Whoop. I can't see it. Ugh. Tilt it this way a little bit. You see now? Okay, keep going. It was almost two pounds. I'm not sure if I got that on video though. Try and get it on video if you can. Look, I'm not a photographer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to cycle the bolt. Let's try that again. All right. Pause it. So as you can see in the video, um, we got about a three and a half pound, maybe 3.2 pound pull, and that's just using a luggage scale and trying to watch it in slow-mo to see where it clicked at. Um, so. Um, assembly is just the reverse of the disassembly and we're gonna go shoot this thing and um, see if we can't get some better groups on it as a follow-up for the M carbo trigger install uh, we did go out and shoot it and we've got groups at about an inch and a half diameter at 100 yards which is um, pretty good for our skill level anyhow um, haven't managed to harvest a deer yet but um, we're sure are trying so uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be awesome we've got some other car projects and various um, things going on and uh, thanks for watching